All right, team. So this is a quick peek into one of my swing trading accounts uh, here in Thinkorswim. Obviously, always losing on Baidu. So what I'm going to do is just review some of these, not some of these, all of these, in today's stock market review, as well as actually cover some of the additional requests that you guys had for me. So let's go ahead and hop into it right now. All right, first on the list that I had on that chart was Baidu, B-I-D-U. And Baidu, gonna get stopped out. This is one of my Nemesis stocks. I can't trade this one to save my life, obviously. But play this hammer, entry here, stop loss a little bit below it, and obviously gonna get stopped out on Baidu. Most likely get stopped out on Baidu. We will see, unless it bounces pretty much tomorrow. Weekly chart though, there's some reasons to be looking to go long down here. I am okay if I get stopped out, although I might try Baidu again off the 200 simple on a weekly and the 100 simple on a monthly. So I'm keeping an eye on Baidu. Long story short, probably going to lose an R, but hopefully that doesn't last forever. Go Health was just an absolute zero call option that I took that's not going to work out. But looking at this particular candle and chart and location, I am quite intrigued about getting into Go Health at these levels with some shares. So I might kind of re-up on that one. As you notice, one of my bigger winners today, MMMD, My Medicine. I did get back into this particular position because I got wicked out on that day right there. And that was kind of, that was boo, boo city to get wicked out of a trade. So when this candle came in, this little hammer off the blue line, I said, okay, well, if it, uh, so my, my new setup was getting in here with a stop loss there. So I just got back into that trade. Right now, it's working out really, really nicely today. So excited to see that. Overall, um, yeah, looks looks pretty good on Mind Medicine. The Trade Desk, I like this move, team. I am in some shares, as you see all in the Trade Desk. I really like this pullback off this humongous bear volume. Breakout, retest of that, and a little bit of a continuation hour. So I did get in on the pullback, stop at 538. So that one right now with 100 shares is looking good. The split is coming up 10 for 1. So I'll have 1,000 shares of the Trade Desk. Um around, I don't know, $60 a share. And I'll start doing $70 covered calls or something like that on the trade desk. So that's, that could be pretty cool. But that one I am in on. NVIDIA, I did get into some NVIDIA and I closed out one of my bull call spreads today for about an hour and a half of profit. Here's a day trade I took on AMD. And this is the actual chart uh, of AMD, kind of how I was looking at it. Really bonehead move early this morning. Um, this bullish limit buy with this old stop. You can see I went against the trend. The trend was bearish. You know, I'm still not exactly sure why I got in, but here was the first five-minute bear candle, a lot of bear volume. And then when this candle initially was taking it out, I went long on a pullback. And again, the trend was bearish. I should have just sold short right there. That was, that was the bonehead move. So um, I went long. I did not get stopped out here. Literally hit my stop to the penny, but thankfully just skipped over it. Didn't get stopped out. Um, when it traded back up into right here, I bought puts and then increased my stop for the long shares and uh, got stopped out right there for about half an hour loss and then held onto the long puts and boom, got out right there with the long puts for a win. So that was AMD for a day trade. I still do have some shares on this one that I'm kind of intrigued about, but overall we'll just see how it, uh, it plays out. Uh, one of my bigger positions across all of my accounts, as of right now, I got about $400,000 into Upwork. Um, I, I got a covered call for June, which I will be buying back most likely in the next two or three days for a loss, even though it is out of resistance. And I probably could leave it alone. The fact that we're taking out this bare candle is a beautiful, beautiful signal. So for me, I most likely would be buying back this covered call in the next two or three days, taking a potentially a small loss on that one and then just enjoying the upside move on the shares. I have um, shares, call options, leaps, no put sales, but it looks good. I'll keep an eye on it. I'll wait to do it a day or two. I'll let it close above, retest, kind of pull back. I won't aggressively exit that position because if I get called away at 50, it'll be a huge win. But Upwork, obviously one of the positions I'm in as well. Stone Co. Limited. Um, in this one also, I did like earnings. We are still below the 200. Weekly chart, hanging out. It's just chilling, but earnings were nice, and it still isn't an uptrend on a weekly chart. So I do like that. Monthly chart, very, very nice hammer candle. And moving averages are also bullish. So for me, I'll stay in Stone Co. Limited uh, long. I'll just kind of 
hedge with options, right? Buy puts, sell calls, and be patient and let it do whatever it's going to do. And of course, Tesla. Come on, Tesla, bounce. I got pennies away from getting stopped out on the 3rd of June. Didn't quite get there, but I mean, literally since. And then you got a one white soldier yesterday, yesterday being Friday, and then you got a little bit of a continuation today. Morning star reversal, the 200 is a resistance, but this is the spot that Tesla needs, and I will repeat, needs to bounce. I have a lot of friends selling some puts down here. I like this area. Um, if we can get a bounce and a double bottom, that'd be phenomenal. I think best case scenario, though, honestly, for Tesla is we hit the 100 in June. I think that's best case. So if that happens, I'll just sell and lock in some profit. Tesla needs a little bit more of a sideways consolidation for a little bit longer, and I'm glad it's happening because it needed to. Right? We just had this massive, massive run-up, so this consolidation is healthy. This monthly chart, it was just looking hilarious. So buy low, sell high. Be as patient as you can. That's pretty much going to be the analysis for a while on Tesla. And uh, just enjoy the sideways chop. Sell puts, sell calls, buy shares, be patient, bull put spreads. And when it gets high enough, bear call spreads on Tesla. And just kind of enjoy the sideways move. So if that can slowly go higher, that will be great. I know American Well, Dan Jansen, is excited about this one. This was one of his $5,000 account challenge stocks. It's a beautiful, beautiful candle today to see on American Well. Very excited about that one. Nice little pop today. And I do think American Well could eventually go a little bit higher. So people are hoping, hoping for sure on that one. Just giving it some time. Teladoc, T-D-O-C, also a little bit up today. And uh, I'm expecting this to go higher. It never broke below my buy puts line, thankfully. So Teladoc, let's see if Teladoc can go a little bit higher. It's got a lot of moving averages to battle. But I will get into some protective puts at 173 on Teladoc. And here are some stocks that were requested by all of you guys. Number one, Ethereum. I do have some Ethereum. I am buying some as we accumulate down in this general area. This is a very nice pullback. And the only thing I can say on this one is if you're interested on my thoughts on Ethereum, go back and analyze this 2017 pullback back in June. I think we're going to experience something similar on Ethereum. We will see, of course, but that's kind of my current prognosis. So buy as low as you can. Uh, be as patient as you can. Give it some time, but Ethereum looks nice. Cron, CRN, the chronic. Got a request on this one on Instagram. 100 simple moving average, decent target at 957. Here's the weekly chart. Weekly 200 acting as a support now. That's kind of nice. It needs to start bouncing. It is above most of its main moving averages. So if it's going to bounce, this is where. So if you are in Stay in right now. Probably have a stop loss. I mean, at the lowest, 690. At the highest, 775. And be patient. Give it some time. But it actually looks good. I don't have any position on it right now. But overall, I get it. And then BGI, Burks Group, retail trade. This was a beautiful pullback back in May. Huge decline. Look at that, 70% pullback. Into the 200 simple moving average. And since then, it's been bouncing. It's actually up since May. Uh, only 135%. It looks it looks okay. I don't know much about Burks as far as a company. Uh, chart looks all right, I guess. Volume is good. I'll give it that. Volume is definitely picking up here. So if you're looking at playing it, it is above all main moving averages. So that is a bonus. If I were playing this one, I'd buy the dip. I'd buy as low as I can, and I'd buy as speculative as I can. This wouldn't be a huge, huge position for me. But overall, I'd be interested, inclined, and excited to see it slowly grind a little bit higher. All right, team. Well, that's pretty much my analysis. That's what I got. If you have any requests that you want me to look at on Wednesday, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below, and I'll be back more for that. Until then, love life, live life, and trade it. You rock. Bye.